This is the third narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 6, Genetic Basis of Inheritance. Let's get started. In this portion of the module, key terms of genetics are discussed, along with a discussion of how chromosomes are responsible for genetics. Chromosomes determine the traits of an organism, including its sex. We will also be discussing linked genes and sex-linked inheritance. There is now knowledge that explains inheritance patterns that Mendelian genetics did not explain. Incomplete dominance refers to expression of both alleles of a genotype, such as a plant with red flowers being crossed with a plant with white flowers and producing offspring with pink flowers. Codominance refers to equal expression of both alleles, such as human AB blood type, which expresses both the blood type A and blood type B. Pleiotropy is defined as one gene controlling multiple traits. The frizzle gene in chickens controls curly feathers and other internal processes. For example, chickens that express the dominant frizzle gene produce feathers that curl rather than lying flat against their bodies. This picture shows the curled feathers. However, this is not the only effect of the gene. Along with producing defective feathers, the frizzle gene causes the chicken to have abnormal body temperatures and a greater digestive capacity, among other internal process defects. Polygenic is the reverse of pleiotropy because multiple genes control a single trait. For example, eye color or hair color. Epistasis explains how expression of one gene masks or alters the expression of other genes. Fur color of Labrador retrievers is determined by the dominant and recessive capital B and lowercase b. A separate gene, the E gene, controls the deposits of melanin, causing black fur, which masks the genotype of coat color. The chromosome theory of inheritance replaced the pangenesis theory and explains that genes on chromosomes code for proteins that express traits. Loci refer to the physical portions on chromosomes where genes are located. Genes may be identified by what number of chromosomes they are located, as well as the position on the chromosome. Some genes that are located on loci close in position on the same chromosome are frequently inherited together. These genes would said to be in linkage with each other. An example of the loci of the genes for hair and eye color are in strong linkage. Therefore, most people with brown eyes have brown hair because both are dominant. However, there are people who have blue eyes, recessive, and brown hair dominant. The sex chromosomes in some animals, including humans, are denoted as X and Y. Normal females always have two copies of the X chromosome while normal males always have X and Y chromosomes. A Punnett square of the XX and XY genotypes yields a 50-50 chance of offspring being XX or XY. Thus, there is an equal opportunity or probability of offspring being male or female. Some traits are carried on the sex chromosomes including color blindness, hemophilia, and muscular dystrophy. Any, any recessive X-linked trait, like color blindness, is more common in males than females because males only contain a single copy of the X chromosome, so there is no chance of a second allele masking the dysfunctional gene. This is a review of the genetic discoveries made since Gregor Mendel developed his law of genetics. 
These discoveries include genes that are inherited in non-Mendelian fashion and how the chromosome theory of inheritance explains the molecule basis for genetics, including sex determination.